How do we interact with the virtual reality of the Second Life? Yes, through the Second Life client, which is located in real world, for example, installed on your computer. Another client in the real world may be, for example, a HTTP server to which virtual objects from within Second Life can send messages to. The Second Life object, like everything what you can see around here, is located within Second Life. That means it runs as some kind of process on the server farm of Linden Lab. To create a secure connection between the real world and the virtual Second Life object, a kind of bridge is needed. For this purpose we developed the OpenQRM Second Life proxy server. Now let's have a look on the next slide how the traffic looks like when using the OpenQRM Second Life proxy server. This diagram shows the monitoring action traffic between the virtual data center from Second Life to the real world through the OpenQRM Second Life proxy server. The data is transferred using the HTTP protocol and secured via two-sided authentication from Second Life and OpenQRM to the Second Life proxy server. Almost all data centers are located in a protected network which would not allow direct communication between the Second Life objects and the servers in the data center. Therefore, the OpenQRM Second Life proxy server is used to provide a secure connection between the real world and the virtual reality. The OpenQRM Second Life proxy server is implemented in the PHP language and can simply be installed on almost every web server. It provides a two-sided authentication. From Second Life through the Second Life proxy server, it is using the owner of the data center object, so administration of specific servers can be delegated to specific administrators by transferring the object's ownership. From the Second Life proxy server, the accounts are mapped to an administrative account on the OpenQRM server. The data transfer happens in the following way. The OpenQRM server pushes monitoring information of the physical data center to the Second Life proxy server. At the same time, it also gets eventual actions executed on the virtual data center objects and puts them into a queue. The OpenQRM server then reads actions from the queue and executes them on the physical data center in the real world. The virtual data center objects in Second Life sequently requesting their status information from the Second Life proxy server and also posting actions in case of an interaction with the object. For the first proof of concept, the OpenQRM research team created three different types of virtual data center objects. Those are server racks, server systems and virtual environments. Each of those objects providing different information and actions in the virtual reality of Second Life. Interaction with those objects in Second Life happens in the same way as in the real world. For example, someone would touch the reboot button on the virtual server system object in Second Life to initiate a reboot on this physical existing server in the real world. We are planning a more enhanced version of this proof of concept, which will include more virtual data center objects to cover more monitoring administration tasks inside the virtual reality.
Also, we are concentrating on making the OpenQM Second Life proxy server more generic to be able to reuse it for different other applications. An integration with Nagios would be very nice too. Last but not least, we plan to offer professional services for virtual data centers managed by OpenQM within Second Life. Now a call for developers. We are actively searching for Second Life developers who want to help us with implementing new features and services. We are also looking for graphic designers to create nicer data center objects and testers to provide feedback and QA. Please feel free to contact the project management of the OpenQM project or simply stay here after the presentation and talk to me. Thanks in advance.